Okay, so recall that in the previous two videos, we first proved that the function x squared over 9 is a probability density function for the random variable x over the interval from 0 to 3. And in the following video, we also found the mean, the expectation of x, or if you prefer, the average value of x, we found mu to be 9 over 4, or in decimals 2.25. Well, in this video, we will find the variance and standard deviation of x. Of course, once we have the variance, the standard deviation is easily calculated. So, if you recall, we denote the variance of x by sigma squared, also by v of x. And if you recall, the variance is the expected value of the difference between the value and its average value, mu, but squared, as we want a positive measure. Well, to find the expectation of a random variable, we have to first multiply the variable by its relative weight, given by the density function, and we have to sum, we have to integrate all of those values over the entire range of possible x values. This is of course a general formula, but now we can substitute in this special case. So a is 0 and b is 3. x minus the mean, I'll keep it as a fraction, 9 quarters, times the density function, x squared over 9, dx. And now we have a very simple integral. To work around this product of two functions of x, we simply have to expand and then multiply by x squared, and we'll be good to go. Two things. We'll pull out the 1 over 9 as a constant multiple outside of the integral. And if we square x minus 9 over 4, we will get x squared minus twice of x times 9 over 4, which will give you 9 over 2, so minus 9 over 2 times x, plus, of course, 9 over 4 squared, 81 over 16. And this is, of course, times the leftover x squared. Well, multiply through by x squared, and you will now have a very simple problem. So we have to integrate from 0 to 3, x to the 4, minus 9 over 2 x cubed, plus 81 over 16 x squared, with respect to x. As we now have a simple polynomial, we can integrate with the power rule, leaving, of course, the 1 over 9, as a constant multiple. So power rule in x4 gives us x to the 5 over 5 minus 9 over 2. Power rule in x cubed is x4 over 4 plus 81 over 16. Power rule again on x squared will give you x cubed over 3. This is nothing but the antiderivative of the function, which we now must evaluate from 0 to 3. So if you plug it in here, x equals 3, after some simplification you will arrive at 27 over 80, and I will leave that up to you, minus, and this is where it's nice, the function at 0, which is, of course, obviously equal to 0. So all we have is the variance is exactly 27 over 80. If you want in decimals, this is exactly 0 0.3375. So we now have the variance of the random variable x, point 3375, and if we want 
sigma, the standard deviation, it is of course nothing but the square root of the variance. This is the root of 27 over 80. If you simplify and rationalize by thinking of 27 as 3 times 9, or 9 times 3, and 80 as 16 times 5. And why did I do this? Because both 9 and 16 are perfect squares. So the root of 9 is 3, root of 16 is 4, and we're left with root of 3 over root of 5. We can rationalize by multiplying top and bottom by root 5 over itself. Right? This is nothing but 1. And if we combine root 5 and root 3, we get root of 15. So we have 3 root of 15 on top over, well, root of 5 squared is 5 times 4 is 20. So the exact value simplified and rationalized for the standard deviation is 3 over 20 root of 15 which of course you can approximate to be 0 0.581. And that's it. So to conclude, the function x squared over 9 is a probability density function for the random variable x on the interval from 0 to 3. The mean, the average value of x is 9 quarters or 2.25. The variance of x is 27 over 80, or 0 0.3375, and the standard deviation of x is the square root of the variance, which is approximately 0 0.581. And that's it.